Hello everybody. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the things that I wish I knew before I started fingerboarding. Leave a like, make sure you're subscribed for future content, and let's get started. Tip number one, fingerboarding does not have to break the bank. This complete costs $16 from LC Boards. This is not a sponsorship. They come with grip tape, trucks, wheels. It's been a solid board and I've learned countless tricks on it. In addition to your setup, fingerboarding obstacles also don't have to be too expensive. I found this cabinet handle at Home Depot for about $7, these brackets for about two bucks, and the felt pads I had laying around the house as well as the rubber bands for grip and so that it doesn't make a loud sound against my countertop table. Obviously you can tell I've gotten some great use out of this, but this was my very first fingerboarding feature that I ever had. Tip number two, grip tape on the bottom of a feature works perfectly fine to keep it from sliding around your table. Tip number three, clean your grip tape. I can't express to you enough how dirty your hands get when you're skating on random surfaces. It might not look dirty, but I have a piece of tape here. All you need to do is take a piece of packing tape, duct tape works fine, place it on top of the board, press it as hard as you can, and I mean, look how disgusting that is. What this is going to do is give you more grip each and every time you use this. It's going to save you hours and hours and hours of slipping off of that board. Wash your hands to keep the board clean and try to avoid using super messy surfaces. Tip number four, patience makes perfect. I know everyone's always heard the term practice makes perfect and it does, but you need to have patience with this. You're not gonna get great overnight. You might land a trick your first day. That's fantastic. Everybody progresses at a different rate. What I've noticed is that the fingerboarding community is incredibly supportive. Post your clips, watch them so you can see your progress, but don't get discouraged. Keep trying and eventually you'll nail it. If there's a question that you might have or a helpful tip of your own, make sure you drop that in the comment section and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.